Oh, hang on. There we go. Breakfast food tier list. <laughs> That's good. That's good right there. Look at that. That is a nice looking tier list. That is a nice looking tier list. It's almost as nice looking as chat is. So we're gonna we're just gonna go ahead, start going down this tier list, alright? Bacon is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna put bacon. I don't want to put bacon in S tier for one specific reason, because bacon has kind of been memed to hell. Fortunately, that's dropped off in recent years. So I I really do feel like the highest bacon can possibly get is an A. That's another thing that Doom said is that good bacon is S tier, but shitty bacon is like B tier. Epic mealtime is the worst thing to happen to bacon. I agree. Therefore, bacon goes directly into A tier because it cannot be S. Bacon by itself isn't a breakfast. A lot of these things by themselves aren't a breakfast. So we're just, we're rating them independently. Bagels. Bagels are S tier. That's just, they just go, they just go right there. Bagels are S tier because bagels, not only can bagels be part of a breakfast, but bagels can be breakfast in and of themselves. They actually don't need anything else. Bagels are an S tier breakfast item. They're dense. They're chewy. If you toast them, they got, they got a nice crisp to them. They're very versatile. You can have bagels for multiple meals. Peanut butter on a bagel is amazing. Indeed. If you're really crazy, like really, truly mad. You can put pizza on a bagel. That might just be a myth. I've only heard of some madmen's from the Midwest practicing the madness of pizza on a bagel. What do we got next? Um, biscuits. Biscuits aren't bad. I personally am not a big fan of biscuits, but a lot of people really do like them, so they they can't all be wrong. In my personal opinion, because the biscuit is not as versatile as the bagel, I do think that the highest we can put biscuits is B tier. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with just Wubsy. Biscuits do go crazy, but they're hard to do right. Bad biscuits, bad biscuits are very dry. So we're we're I I feel like B for biscuit is a is a really good place to put them. The biscuits are C or B tier. We'll put them in B right now. I feel like they're in one of those two. Eggs! Eggs. Eggs. Eggs for excellent. Egg. Oh, wait, is this just saying hard boiled eggs? Because I see over here we got an egg. We got a fried egg. So is this just hard boiled eggs? Scrambled is on the. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's just hard boiled eggs. All right, all right, all right. I really do like hard boiled eggs. Uh, see, I want to put the hard boiled egg in B tier, but here's the problem with hard boiled eggs the shell never comes off properly. You end up losing, you end up losing big chunks of egg to shell. And you, you can't get that back. Hard boiled eggs are Columbo tier. Oh, yeah, they are. They are. And then you gotta get salt from another police officer because you forgot to bring the salt with you. Yeah, we're putting, we're putting the hard boiled eggs in C for Columbo. Um. <laughs> I do love hard boiled eggs. The shell never wants to come off properly. Apparently, I just saw a thing the other day, or the other day, today, I just saw a thing today that apparently the, the dude takes a hard-boiled egg, right? He puts it into like a little, a uh, little mason jar, okay? And he puts some water in there with it and then spins the mason jar around and then the eggshell just came off. It was baffling to me. I'd never seen that before and I want to try it now. Anyway, hard-boiled eggs, C tier. Breakfast burritos. I feel like breakfast burritos are a solid A tier. Right? The the breakfast burrito, the reason I'm the reason I'm hesitant to put it in S tier is because sometimes did you ever get a breakfast burrito that was made by someone that has a really bad taste? Or you ever do you ever get a breakfast burrito from a from just I don't know, name name your local fast food joint. It's really subpar. Like it's wet on the inside. I will say this. I the re here's here's my here's my one reason. If I have to boil it down, huh, hard boiled egg. If I have to boil it down to one reason. I've never gotten food poisoning from a bagel. I like breakfast burritos, but I'd rather eat all the stuff separately on a plate. Yeah. Yeah. Why do people put potato in breakfast burritos? Now, don't knock putting potato in things because I thought that was a stupid idea until I ate at a place in California called Albertacos, where they put chopped up potatoes inside the burrito. And that was like the most magical burrito I've ever had in my entire life. 
I, I'm going to spend the rest of my life chasing that high. Because that potato was... Potato. That burrito was so good. But anyway, I really do like breakfast burritos. Don't get me wrong. They're very good. If I had never gotten food poisoning from a breakfast burrito, that would be S tier all day. But as of right now, we're, we're putting it in A tier. Granola bars. Uh, granola bars are B. Like, they're fine. I actually, you know what? Are granola bars C tier? C tier, you don't ever even eat them unless you're late. Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't get up in the morning. I, here, okay, yeah. This is, this is why they're, this is why granola bars are C tier. You never wake up in the morning and think, man, I could go for a fucking granola bar. I cannot wait to, I got this really nice, I got this really nice artisanal granola bar. No, nobody says that. Or you don't go to a bakery and they talk about their artisanal granola bars. You go to a bakery and they talk about their artisanal bagels. Yeah, granola, granola bars are C tier. All right. All right, cereal, like breakfast cereal. This is just all encompassing. This is all brands of breakfast cereal. C or B, I guess. Yeah, C tier. There's a lot of really good cereal and then there's like Wheaties. So yeah, that kind of brings it down into C. There's some really, what if no milk? See, that depends too, because there's some cereal that's really good that you could just like eat it out of the, like, like you just get a box of Fruit Loops and you just eat Fruit Loops out of the box. You're never excited about having it, but never disappointed with having it either. Either, Yeah, we're going to leave it in C tier for right now, but it can, it can go in C or B tier. Coffee. Coffee's S tier. Like I, I, it's just, it just is. Coffee is S tier. I fucking love coffee. I don't even, I'm not, I like, I, I don't even want to put it in A tier. It just, it just belongs up here. It's so good. It smells good. Can't stand the taste. That's why you put other stuff in it. Why? That's why you put French vanilla into coffee. It's delicious. You know why coffee has caffeine in it? Caffeine is horribly poisonous to most insects. So it keeps bugs from eating the coffee plants because they know it'll just kill them. But then larger animals, it isn't poisonous to them, and it makes them feel better. So they eat the coffee, and then carry the seeds around, and then poop the seeds out somewhere else, and then the seeds now grow into more coffee plants. They, they have evolutionarily developed caffeine as a way to spread their species far and wide and keep little tiny things from eating it. Alright, we're moving on. Cold pizza from the day before. Cold pizza from the day before is like A tier. But then the problem is it's cold pizza from the day before, which makes it like B tier. I, you know, I, I don't want to put cold pizza over biscuits. Yeah, and it depends on the pizza. Like, if you get a Little Caesars hot and ready, cold pizza ain't breakfast. Oh, my man, no, cold pizza is definitely breakfast. Now, don't get me wrong. I love the Little Caesars hot and ready, or as I like to call it, the Little Caesars hot and sweaty. I love the hot and sweaties. But if you don't eat the hot and sweaty that day, the next day, it is fucking terrible. Cold pizza, B tier. By the way, pro tip, if you have if you have a uh, leftover pizza from the previous day, do not microwave it. Take the pizza, turn your oven onto uh, 400 degrees, pop the pizza into the oven for 10 minutes, and then pull the pizza out of the oven. It is so much better. Do not microwave pizza. Just just pop it in the oven for like 10 minutes. I mean, sometimes that is that does take too long. Anyway, whatever. We're moving on. Cream of wheat. Uh... Hmm, where do we put cream of wheat? I, cream of wheat's D tier. Like, I, I've had it a couple times and it's been like, yeah, okay. It's like, it's like oatmeal, but it's like a thicker version of oatmeal. Imagine oatmeal, but it's not flakes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. Good with good jams. I've never tried that and that actually might be something to give it a shot. I don't, I don't want to put it in F tier because it's not bad. It's just, it's not great. Donut. This is tough for me because I do love donuts, especially with coffee. Coffee and donuts is S tier, but like, kind of like granola bars, when you eat a donut on its own, it's like, it kind of needs to go with something else. I, I love, I, and people are going to think I'm crazy for this. I love plain cake donuts, like not glazed, not frosted, not covered in sprinkles. Just a plain cake donut is like, mm. Oh, it's so good. It's so tasty. All right, we're going to we're going to put donuts in A tier. Don't uh, they're obviously they're very good. Donuts are very good. No one's arguing that. All right. Anyway, Red Bull. Red Bull is good. It's not as good as coffee. I don't want to say it's A tier. Red Bull is not breakfast. I'm seeing a lot of people say not a breakfast. If any kind of energy drink is in your breakfast, you're either in college or the military. That's true. 
All right, yeah, we'll put it in the not breakfast. All right, we'll we'll move on from that one. French toast, delicious French toast. French toast is, it's moving. It's moving up. It's oh my god, oh my god. Is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? Is it gonna stop? Oh my god. Oh oh. Why is French toast all the way up there? Because it deserves to be up there. That's why French toast is all the way up there. French toast is S tier. It's amazing. I, I really don't have anything else to say about it. It's it's really good. It goes it goes right up there into S. French toast is amazing. All right, we're next one. This is a fried egg, but we're just gonna we're gonna include aside from scrambled eggs. I think we're just gonna include all the like fried egg types together. So like over easy, over medium, sunny side up. We're gonna include all those together. Egg. egg. Yeah, A tier. We're gonna, I, I'm I'm putting them in A tier because. You can prepare them so many, you can prepare them so many different ways. Fried egg is the same class as biscuits. Good as an add-on, but hard to justify on their own. Hmm. You know, I'm, I'm kind of inclined to agree with you that maybe, maybe they should be moved down into B tier. I would say high B tier. They're like, they're like B plus. One, if they do just one, one little tiny thing, that one little bit of extra credit would push them right up into A tier. And you know what, having said that, I think we're going to move bacon down into B tier. Yeah, I think, I, I kind of feel comfortable with this, with bacon being in B tier. Again, bacon and eggs, bacon and eggs are both high B tier. Fruit. Fruit's a good B tier. I look, fruit. I like all kinds of different fruit. You got banana. You got apple. Banana on its own can be, can be a good breakfast. Apple on its own, that can be a good breakfast. Grapes and like strawberries and stuff. I don't think those on their own are a really good breakfast. Yes, you could combine everything in B tier and have a nice. Well, I would I would leave the pizza out if I'm combining all this stuff together. But yeah, you could combine all these together and have you could have an S tier breakfast with all this stuff. Yeah, I think fruit fruit belongs in B tier. Granola, granola. Well, okay. So actually, we've set a precedent here. Granola cannot be higher than granola bars. Obviously, like granola is good, but it can't. It, there's no way it's higher than granola bars. It's the same as cereal. But yeah, I feel like granola is D, C, somewhere in there. If granola goes in D, it's got to be about cream of wheat. I would agree with you. You know what? I'm going to put granola in C tier. Granola is in C tier, and it's not really in front of or behind uh, cereal. So I feel like granola is a good, a, a good C tier. Grits. I fucking hate grits. Grits are an F tier. Grits are disgusting. Grits are like cream of wheat with sand in it. I don't like it. I don't want it. It goes right into F tier. It's horrible. I fucking hate grits. Hash browns. Hash browns are fucking S tier. I love hash browns so much. We're just, I'm moving on from grits. I don't want to fucking talk about it anymore. I hate it. <laughs> hash browns are fucking S tier. Hash browns are so good. They are amazing. And it doesn't even matter how they make hash browns. You can get like the chopped hash browns, like where you go to a restaurant and they chop up all the hash, they, they're all chopped up like that. Those are so good. The, like the hash brown cakes, those are amazing. Where they're like little tiny, um, where they're like little tiny rounds, those are really good. Those are basically just tater tots, but they're still really good. Even, yeah, even McDonald's hash browns are good. Yeah, they go into S tier. They're, the hash browns are perfect. Not, see, now I want hash browns. This is a problem. Coco, is Coco... Is Coco, I, I kind of want to put Coco and not breakfast. I can, I can see when it's really cold outside, when it's really cold outside, I can see having hot cocoa for breakfast. Sweet treat, special occasion breakfast. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Actually adding coffee to hot cocoa or adding cocoa to hot coffee. Adding hot cocoa to coffee is very good. I'm going to put it in A tier. I, I feel like it's really good. I kind of almost want to put it in not breakfast. I do think it's really good, and I think in winter and on special occasions, hot cocoa with breakfast is very good. Um, is this just like... Are these just like different juices with breakfast? I think these are probably B tier. Like smoothies or like breakfast juice, or like, like any type of breakfast juice. I'd say those are like, those are a good B tier. Yeah, smoothie isn't gonna be a bit... I think they're B tier. The only reason... <laughs> fruit! Now it's liquid. The only reason... I think orange juice or like smoothies aren't in A or S tier is if you accidentally brush, not accidentally, if you brush your teeth first and then you have breakfast, 
orange juice right after something is like it's never good. Uh, milk. Milk goes in C tier. You need it with a yeah. You need it with a lot of other other breakfast stuff. C for calcium. Milk is in C for calcium. Yeah, we're, we're putting milk in, in C tier. Uh, muffins. Mm, B tier? Chocolate chip muffins are A tier. Yes. Yeah, because see, you've got... Okay, so you've got, you've got things like chocolate chip muffins or like blueberry muffins. Like there's lots of good things about muffins and then bran muffins. People need fiber. <laughs> <laughs> Cut in half brand for B and the rest in A. Yeah, I would agree with that. One third of muffins stays in B tier, and then the rest of the muffins go in A tier. But we can't we can't actually split it like that, so we'll have to do it in post. Nothing. You know, there's a lot to be said for just having nothing for breakfast. It isn't filling, but <laughs> I you know, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with D. I'm gonna go with D. I'm putting nothing above grits. I would rather have nothing than grits. I would rather just be like, I'm just gonna be fucking hungry all morning. Yeah, I'm putting nothing above grits. Uh, what do we got here? Quaker oatmeal. Uh, C tier? Oatmeal is- oatmeal is C tier. It's- it's okay. It's good. It's not- not great, but it's okay. You will fight me to the death over grits. Grits is right where it belongs in F tier. So, anyway, oatmeal, I feel like oatmeal is C tier. It's good, not great, but it's good. Omelets. Omelets are, well, they at least go right here. Omelets are very good. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with A tier. You can put a lot of stuff in omelets, they're very versatile. Omelet with potatoes and bacon, that might be really tasty. I feel like, I feel like omelets go in A tier. Yeah, they, they're, they're, yeah. We're gonna put them above breakfast. Burritos. Omelets are right here. They're right here in A tier. I'm putting donuts in front of breakfast burritos. Pancakes! I feel like pancakes are also A, are, are also A tier. Pancakes are pretty good. The problem is every time I have pancakes, they just suck up all of the syrup. And then, like, I don't know where it goes. There's, like, a tiny black hole in every single pancake. That when you pour the syrup on it, it just goes... And then the syrup just gets sucked into another dimension. And it's just gone. If they didn't- if the- if the syrup didn't just like immediately disappear the moment it, it passed the- the event horizon of the top of the pancake, I might like them a little bit more. Anyway, alright. We'll, we'll put- we'll put pancakes in A tier. Pop-Tarts! Pop-Tarts are fucking D tier. They're- they're definitely not above granola bars. If you are hungover, Pop-Tarts are really good. But most of the time, they're not great. And then also, like, if you get a Pop-Tart and you're impatient and you bite into it, it's just molten lava on the inside, and then it's, it, it comes out and gets onto your lip and it just burns you. Anyway, alright. Alright. Potatoes. Just, like, fried potatoes? That's... Yeah, that's A. Fried potatoes, they're not as good as hash browns. We're not putting- we're definitely not putting them above hash browns. Fried potatoes, nice solid A. They're- they're right up there. They're very good. What the hell is this? Is that like whey protein? That's not breakfast. That goes down there. It, nobody's willingly gonna have this. You're not gonna get up and be like, man, I can't wait to have some whey protein. But the gains! <laughs> the gains! Alright, breakfast sandwich. Breakfast sandwich. Yeah, that's an S tier. There's, oh man, there's so many, I've had so many good breakfast sandwiches. Just like with different breakfast. They're so good. You put, when you put, when you put a fried egg on a sandwich, that makes it so fucking good. All right, all right. Fried eggs, or a, a breakfast sandwich, that is easily S tier. That's right up here. It does, yes. The breakfast sandwich, it takes the bagel from S tier and just adds all the other good stuff to it and puts it right up there. Amazing. Sausage! Mmm, yeah, we'll, we'll put sausage right behind bacon. Sausage is B tier. I, again, I'm, gonna, I'm trying to be unbiased. I don't particularly care for sausage. I would rather, given a choice, I'd rather have bacon than sausage. When you add it to stuff, it's really good. Like, again, you take sausage, you take these potatoes, put some eggs with them, you get a really good meal, you do that. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs are A tier. Like, scrambled eggs are the kind of thing that you can just eat scrambled eggs on their own. That's- 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 that's easy. 
Like you don't, you technically don't even have to add anything to scrambled eggs. A lot of these other things, they need something else to go with them. But scrambled eggs, they are they are great. We're gonna put scrambled eggs right up here in A tier. T, I like B tier. I like T, but T is A tier. I don't know. I, problem is I'm 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 American and I don't drink tea. I know British would put tea up there, but like I, eh, yeah. Or I'm putting T and B tier. B for British. There's nothing wrong with tea. It's just you know, it's, it goes right there. Toaster strudel. Well, toaster strudel is definitely above pop tarts. I kind of don't want to put it in B tier though. I think toaster strudel is a solid C tier. It definitely is above pop tarts. It's below cereal though. Toast. Toast is A tier. Toast is great. We like toast. Again, you take toast, you mix it with some of this other stuff, and it's like, there, there you go. This is, this, the breakfast sandwich, is what happens when toast gets a bunch of other stuff added to it. Waffles. See, now I'm running into a conundrum, because waffles, I want to put waffles in S tier. But, waffles are better than pancakes, but not as good as French toast. I might agree with that. I think waffles are high A tier. They're very good. They have syrup troughs. Uh, and I think maybe if you add one or two things to them, waffles go like go right up there. But yeah, we're the waffles are waffles are, are high A tier. Uh water. A tier. S tier? I'm not arguing. Water is Water is really good, especially when you're like really thirsty. So it's real good. Uh, all right, fine. We'll put water in S tier. We'll put water in S tier. I know we. I know we need. Here's the thing about water. You do technically need other things to go with water to make it good. Water is water's great. I would agree. Yogurt on its own, kind of a C. I think with like fruit or other stuff in it, you get a B, maybe an A if it's really good. But yeah, yogurt, yogurt on its own. There we go. There's the there's the uh, the breakfast tier list. There is the breakfast tier list, everyone. <laughs>